Welcome to Talk of the Town. This is an official podcast from the town of Pine Top Lakeside to expand upon community topics shared through the Talk of the Town newsletter. Here we will give you more detail, respond to questions, and deliver information about community news and happenings. Hey, it's uh, Rob Hefner hanging out here at Town Hall for the town of Pine Top Lakeside, Talk of the Town this week, uh, we're going to be speaking with someone that actually utilizes some of the uh, town property. It's uh, Vicki Solomon with Nexus Coalition. How are you? Great. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Good. Now, it's so it's Nexus Coalition for Drug Prevention. Yes. And I want to make sure people understand that uh, you do a bunch of different things. Why don't you just give us an overview of sort of, of what you do and where you're at? You bet. Absolutely. So we are um, a drug prevention coalition. We're the only coalition um, in the mountain for the drug prevention and um, we provide training in the schools for the youth, uh, not only on drug prevention, but also life skills, because we want to make sure that they have life skills to learn how to say no and make sure that they're aware of those things. And then we want to also provide education to the parents. Um, very important that the parents are up to speed on current drug trends, what to look for, you know, whenever your youth are going through their teenage years. So we do provide education and training for that as well. Um, we have free naloxone um, along with naloxone training training. Um, the value of that is about $150 per box. And so while we're able to get it for free, we want to make sure and take care of our community. Um, trauma training, all kinds of diversion in the schools, the list goes on and on. We're just here to serve our community. Now, somebody here is free naloxone. They may not know. Some people are like, oh, that's good. Others might go, what's that? And why are you giving out a drug? So you can good you explain question. that a little bit? Absolutely. So naloxone is the opioid reversal. Um, it's, it, it is super easy. Literally, my five and six year old grandkids could learn how to use it and utilize it. If there was an overdose of some sort on opioids, um, it comes in a nasal spray. You open the package, you put it up their nostril, and you inject just like you do a flow anase. Okay, super easy. Um, and then that drug reversal will bring that person out of an overdose if it's opioids. Um, Super simple, super easy. We want to make sure the community knows about it. A life-saving thing. Um, good question as far as, well, what if my, what if somebody has high blood pressure or cancer or diabetes? Or what if they're two years old? What if they're 99 years old? It doesn't matter on any of those cases. Um, it will not hurt them. Um, if it is an opioid overdose, it will um, bring them back to life. Um, if it was something else, it won't do anything. It just for doesn't them. do anything. That's exactly. All. Right. Okay. Awesome. And like you said, you have training available for that, and you have it available as well. Yes. Um, so give us more understanding of of you know drug prevention, and it's a nonstop job, and you don't teach people once; you get to remind, 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 yes. don't you? Absolutely. Well, and Rob, our current drug trend right now, as we all probably know and hopefully know, is the fentanyl crisis. Yeah. Um, right now, we just got in January some information from the Arizona Haida, who we partner with. And it used to be four out of, out of 10 pills had the fentanyl in it. Well, now currently, as of January, six out of the 10 pills will have a fentanyl overdose. And those are street drugs. If people are getting drugs off of the street, the out of 10 people buying the drugs, there's a chance that six of those drugs are going to have fentanyl in it. So it is causing um, a lot of challenges with overdoses. And Rob, when you think of an overdose, what do you what do you think of an overdose? What do you think that is? Well, it's, it's too much. So it basically makes your system shut down or not react properly. Let's put it that way. Right. So when you think of overdose, we think of taking too much, right? Well, if a kid goes and takes one pill and, and dies from that one pill, really, that's not an overdose. That is an accidental poisoning. Right. And so that's something that we're trying to bring out and making sure that the kids are aware. You know, overdose, you know, it's it, people think you have to take a whole bunch of pills. Right. But in today's world, you don't. You take one and it could take your life. Yeah. It's And it's now. It's not like right. you get a warning about it or you get to try it a few right. times or no. Yeah. Ab absolutely. Yeah. And there's videos out there showing officers getting exposed to it and it, the instantaneous result that occurs. Yes. And that's why it's important because of this that we learn about naloxone and have it on us, have it in our emergency kits, have it in our vehicles, just in case there is an accidental overdose, we can help that person come back to life and get them to the hospital for help. 
Okay. So we're going to have you come in every so often to talk about things like when there's times that you can turn in prescriptions and uh, do that. I mean, you've got obviously almost do that all the time, but there are certain times where we remind everybody, Hey, you got old prescriptions they are expired, bring them in. There's a safe way to do it. Things like that. Uh, other things that you do. Um, but if somebody wants more information now, yes, how do they get a hold of you? Um, best way to do it, we have our website. It's ncdp.rocks. And there's all kinds of contact information there. That's the fastest, easiest way. Um, if you get a hold of my card, my number's 928-243-2014. Email address vsncdp at gmail.com. Okay, awesome. Anything else you want to tell people today? We're just here to serve our community. We work off a grant, so everything that we do is for free. Awesome. Once again, that's uh, Nikki, it, <laughs> Nikki, Vicki Solomon with the Nexus Coalition for Drug Prevention. This is Rob Hefner. I'm here with the town of Pine Top Lakeside. This is Talk of the Town. And everything down below, you can find information. You can click on and go right to it or stop into Town Hall. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to go have fun.